the mission control. Well, it has been extremely busy at my uh, normal job, so I apologize that I haven't been able to get you guys some more videos to watch and follow along. I appreciate everyone who stuck it out. Uh, man, this has been kind of quite the adventure as we go through all of this. Uh, also, since I've been working so hard, I really haven't been able to do anything. This is the first day I've really had to sit down and get some stuff done. But I got some cool things I want to show you, so let's get started. So I'm here, uh, this is on lane three and we've got our microgreen shell. Now previously, uh, something we, we did uh, off camera is about two weekends ago, went through and leveled everything in here. Uh, even, but the, kind of the frustrating part is, even after leveling stuff, because of these metal grates that are on the shelving, uh, the grow tables are a, a, just a little off. The beds themselves are all level. We really trued them up. We spent a whole day just going through and leveling everything and uh, really happy with that work. Uh, so I need to get some water in, or um, I need to get some water up in these uh, tables so that I can see where they're not totally level at. And uh, then I need to level them all up. I'm not just gonna put water in. So we have this valve system set up right here. And this is uh, going into the existing pump system that we have. And I mean, we spoke about it before, but there's just not enough uh, oomph in the pump to be able to go, uh, to have this much head, plus be running uh, any of the valves open. It has a 12 foot lift on it, uh, but when you're actually letting some of that go out, uh, it just doesn't have enough pressure to get up here. In addition, I kind of wanted some backup. You know, what happens if that pump goes down? What can I do? So what we're gonna do, I actually, uh, this morning I programmed, wrote code for these units. I'm reusing these, these are, uh, uh, what I used to have on each lane, if you want to go back in time, you can see when we originally had this all set up and had the light movers on it. And uh, these are what we had controlling everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run power out here. Power right here. Um, and I'm going to connect this in, and uh, it will run a pump that I'll put in right here. And that pump will come in, connect here. Uh, I'll tee it in and then these valves will uh, allow us to direct water one way or the other, but both of them can be open at the same time. And uh, if something went wrong with the main pump, we could actually close these down, open this valve, and actually backflow into the system, uh, pressurized water, uh, which gives us uh, some backup, right? So uh, we're not dependent on just the one pump. If that pump goes down, we can switch over to this and still be able to do things. But this automation unit here, we got it uh, all put together this morning, so maybe here or here, see where we're going to mount it at. Uh, might mount it right there, actually. That's a pretty nice spot. Uh, I'll mount it right there, I guess, also. Um, so we're going to get that all set up, and then we'll have the pump on here, and uh, plumb that pump in, and that'll be pretty cool. So that's one thing we're going to try to do today. So I'm standing with the trees, and man, oh man, I've been doing great. Uh, this is the banana tree here, and it's still has a ways to go as far as uh, really getting growing. But I dug down a little bit and the roots are really setting in there nicely. This is our clementine tree and it has really come in. Uh, it's already flowered and it is now getting buds on it where the clementines are gonna grow. Grapefruit tree, I'll give you guys some close-ups of those. But what we wanna do here today is we're actually gonna lift up some of this flooring and we're gonna set a control unit here that will control a pump that's in lane two. I'm gonna set uh, a pump down there. And that, uh, this unit will also detect the moisture that's in uh, the bed here, or in the, uh, <laughs> there goes my vocabulary. This thing, the container, uh, the pot, gee whiz, now, man. Uh, never had that happen to you, happen to me. So we're going to put a moisture sensor in here so we can actually detect what level of uh, moisture is in here so we do not overwater these trees. And then uh, going to run a uh, black pipe in here for irrigation and then throw, uh, take it from three quarter down to a quarter inch and have that drip into these uh, and water it in accordance with the instructions uh, for each of these trees. So I'm pretty excited about this, although I'm not excited about having to rip the floor up a little bit, but luckily this is a modular floor, so it's supposed to have that do that. So let's uh, let's get started.
I just killed power to lane three here so we can wire in the supply line for the junction box. Okay. I'll turn it on. Hopefully I didn't do it wrong. All right. Looks like we got it. Power is on. We'll do some testing with this thing once we get all the wire and everything all prettied up. But um, got the Arduino controlling a relay, 120 volt. Yeah, uh, this is one of the earlier prototypes where I had everything all in one box. So um, all the new stuff I have has low power and high power separated. This one has it together. So it's unfortunate, but I have it and I'm going to use it. Uh, and they ran for a year with no problem, so we'll keep keep using them. So I need to get this wire all strung up, and then uh, we're on to plumbing. Yay, plumbing. So now I'm going to upload the specific code for it to connect to the server out here. When I test it in the house, it's connected to a different uh, server unit, or a different Wi-Fi network, I should say. It's a better way to say it. So it's going to be Every time I do this, I'm reminded of the scene in Star Wars where Han Solo says, go plug uh, R2 in and let him talk to the hyperdrive. Uh, that's what I feel like when I do this. I'm plugging R2 in here and having to talk to the hyperdrive and uh, see what comes out of it. So, uh, pretty happy with this so far. Really, no major concerns. Uh, get this all buttoned up here once we get it plugged in, do some testing with it, make sure it all works, and then we'll be, we'll be set. We'll be set. Yeah, it's looking good. Alright, so I'm going to let that upload and move on to the next one. Alright, so I'm going to use flat, whoa! I'm not going to use that pump if I break it. Alright, so I'm going to see this is just an adapter from the black pipe to the pex. There. This is the valve that's going to allow us to, if we open it, we'll push water back into the system. I really like that. This one. Oh. So. Zip ties are my friend. They make changing things easy. And when you're prototyping, change is inevitable. Heck in life, change is inevitable. Hey, there we go. Well, there we went. Had it for a moment. What happened? Why did it turn off? Pump is off. Hmm. Troubleshooting. Fun. All right, well, I just got uh, done troubleshooting everything, and it looks like we're all set up to go here. Going to keep an eye on it. I uh, still need to level these beds some more because we need to kind of fine tune so we can make sure they're equal flow. Nice. Looking pretty good here. So, uh, like I said, we'll finish troubleshooting, make sure it all runs correctly. It's supposed to run for 10 minutes and then turn off and then not turn on again until tomorrow. So, I have to keep a really good eye on it and. Uh, should pretty much be it. In the meantime, I'm going to go install the one on the other on lane two, and then we'll really be set up here. Coming together nice. Just got done troubleshooting everything. 
Uh, this one went in really smooth. The only thing I, I didn't do right is uh, I didn't load the right code to it, so it was all messed up. It was confused, you might say. So we got it unconfused, and it is uh, running. As you can see, the water and everything is running like it's supposed to. Doing a really, really, really nice job here. Totally happy with this. I don't care if it looks like I need to tighten that up some. Uh, but otherwise, everything is working great. And, and I finally get to control everything with the iPad. So uh, this valve here, uh, it is all controlled. Let's see if we come in here. This is lane two. I can disable it. I can tell it to reset it for tomorrow morning, actually. Okay, so that just got disabled, so it should go through its cycle, and eventually it should turn off. It takes about a minute. Why is it not turning on? Should it be turning on? It's not turning on. Darn it! <laughs> Come on, man! That was such a cool demo that failed. Uh, oh, you know, I don't think I have the code set. Yeah, that well, that's the reason why is because it's not the code isn't set to actually look at a disable switch right in the middle of the operation because it's going through and cycling through everything. Oh, that's a bummer. Let's see if I can trigger this way. Uh, it is. Boom, got it. Okay, yeah, so I'll have to go look at that code and uh, have it so you can hit the disable button, the big red button, and turn it off. But otherwise, man, so cool. It worked. Uh, and I gotta control everything now in here from wherever I want. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, that was a major, that's major right there. Cool. Uh, so. Really happy with this. Both lanes turn out real nice. As you can see, control it with the iPad now, and uh, everything's web-based here, so local server and just coming across on my uh, iPad on the screen here. So really excited about that. Uh, thanks for following along today. Uh, I got some more work to do, but we're gonna go ahead and stop this video here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian, out.